So today we check out another new weapon that arrived with the takedown at Marwan's Black Site free content update. This weapon is called the Moonfire and well, meet your destiny. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and today I'll be doing another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. On the screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay, so the Moonfire Pistol is an amazing weapon, I believe, at the moment is exclusive to Walton, the main boss behind the takedown at Malawan Raid, as people seem to call it. I've had a look online, and the people who have gotten this so far all did from Walton on Mayhem 4. But if this has been obtained by anyone else from elsewhere, please let us know in that comments section. This variant was sent to me by my powerful review trolling donkey, so credit to him. Doesn't offer an elemental damage, but this does drop indeed offering said elemental versions like the one you can see on screen now. This variant I have anointed to Amora offers after using phase slam, weapon damage is increased by 300% for a short time. The damage this thing packs also is pretty crazy, as you can see it has a 2056 damage. It has a 69% accuracy, 40% handling, reloads in 2 seconds, and a 1.6 fire rate, and a magazine size of 5. It also has a plus 45% critical hit damage bonus, with a plus 65% weapon damage bonus, and a plus 69 projectile speed bonus. Its red text states, meet your destiny. Now is this another reference to Destiny? We know the other weapon I covered, the good juju, was definitely a reference to Destiny. Well is this? Well it could indeed be. In the great days of Destiny 1, there was a weapon called the Hawk Moon. The Hawk Moon pistol had a couple of specific traits which made it a monster of a weapon. It had something called Holding Aces, where two bullets within its magazine would deal considerably more damage. Well that's what it seems this weapon also does people. Every third shot you fire, it fires a beam shot which deals over double the damage a normal shot does. And it just absolutely wrecks people. So it could be in reference to Destiny, I won't confirm that but it's good to think about. I'd definitely say this is one of the most powerful pistols in the game now as well. But what I also like about this weapon is how great it feels to use. It feels super snappy, super accurate, just all around great. We can actually see the damage this thing is capable of and test it against old favourite pistols because of the new target done within Sanctuary. So let's get to testing. So I pulled out my vault, some of my favourite hand cannons I've kept hold of. The Duck, the Queen's Cool, the Companion, the Unforgiven. Let's test these against this Moon of Fire. So starting with the Duck. A body shot. The initial shot does 648, but it then has a projectile explosion. And this does 2092 damage. Combine the two and you're equal to the body shot of 3240. A crit shot, the initial shot does 1752, but the explosion does 7006. This equals out to 9758. With my duck though, a crit shot spawns three projectiles, but two seem to go to surrounding areas. But each one of these additional projectiles does 1296. Now if you were to fire this at all projectiles didn't land on that initial target, you could do a total damage of 13,646, but this is a rare instance. So the dock has got some potential, it really has. So let's move on to the Queen's Cool. This does a body shot damage of 623. A crit shot will do 1,685, but it also spawns in three extra projectiles, doing 935 damage each. So a total damage shot does 4,490. The Companion, this is a favourite to many. A body shot does 2,091, and a crit shot does 5,651. The Unforgiven, which is an absolute monster of a weapon as we all know because of that critical hit damage bonus. So the body does 1,195, a crit shot does 14,000 people, damn. So let's move on to the moon fire and see what this thing is capable of. So it's body shot, it will do 2,334, but hitting the body with that special beam shot once every three shots, it does 5,249, like wow. That's basically a body shot equivalent to the companion's crit shot, as well as more powerful than the queen's cool crit shot, like wow. Okay, so a crit shot with the moonfire will do 7,557, but its special beam shot people will do 17,000 to that head to that cranium, to that face, to that nostril, to that hole between those cheeks. Actually, I'll cut that part out. But yes, the Moonfire is an 
absolute monster of a weapon. And I knew straight away, far enough against just minor ads, that it was going to be one of the most powerful pistols in the game. And the stats you can see on the screen now, it's quite clear that it is one of the most powerful. Now, obviously, some of these have much quicker fire rates and so forth, which would in turn add to probably a greater DPS. But even so, the Moonfire is indeed a great, great pistol. One, in my opinion, which is up there with the best in the game. And like I said, my testings with the standard version, I could only imagine what a better version with an elemental damage buff would do. I mean, I can't wait to try one of those out. Now, if you guys do have any of the new legendaries, and there are quite a few that dropped with this takedown at Maluan's Black Site update, and you play on Xbox, send me a message to IMDPJ if you'd like me to review your said weapon. Or you can hit me up on my Discord link within the video description. My Discord is also home to many, many Borderlands fans with dedicated trading sections for every platform, so do check it out. But yeah guys, this has been the Moonfire, an amazing new addition to the game, a pistol which is now set in stone within my loadout, and a weapon at the moment I believe is only exclusive to Walton on the Mayhem 4, so good luck if you plan on trying to get this. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe, and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button, but guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.